So come into a seated position and sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Align the back of your skull with sacrum and let your arms come to rest onto your thighs. Now activate your feet and spread the toes, spreading the balls of your feet. And close your eyes. And feel the connecting with the earth. So feel your sit bone as you press down towards into your mat. And then feel as if you're squeezing your sit bones towards your tailbone. Feel how this begins to open into your lower back. And give yourself a moment or two now just to feel yourself disconnecting from much of what has been your day so, so far. Bringing yourself into your own space, into a yogic space, a sacred space. Today we'll be working through a number of standing poses. So as you're going through the poses, really feel the connecting with the earth by pressing your feet to the floor, spreading your feet to the floor, and then using the energy that you receive from the floor to move that through your body. So working at the area of building strength and moving that through your body today. So pressing down into your sit bone and then breathing as you breathe, lengthen the spine, stretching out your breath for about a seven, Holding on to the breath and then exhaling. So exhale, exhale completely, belly pulls in. As you breathe, expand your ribs. Relax your belly and exhale. On your next breath, lift your chest as if you're lifting chest up towards your chin. Continue to breathe as you lift your collarbones. And exhale, exhaling completely. And taking two more breaths into your area or where you feel this needed, needed most. So your intent today is feeding yourself enough of what you need and you're pressing into the floor to feel the energy and drawing that into your body. Stay focused throughout your practice today. Pranayama is, uh, open your eyes and bring your left foot over your right thigh in shoelace pose. That's a difficult reach for you. Then have your left foot onto your right calf or your left foot onto the floor or stay in cross leg seated. Pranayama is Kapalabhati breathing in shoelace. So bring your hands down by your hips just slightly behind your hips. And activate your feet and spread the toes. Take a partial inhale. And sharp exhales through the nose, moving the belly. 75 pumps. And then, and then release. Unwind the cross of your legs and change the cross of your legs. Right is over left. Follow body breathing, shoelace pose, aiming for 75 pounds. Arms down by your side, 
slightly behind by your hips, and then take a partial inhale. And then sharp exhales through the nose, moving the belly. So keep the chest lifted, keep your spine long, and allow the energy to move from your belly. And then inhale, release. Unwind your cross of your legs. Your next pose is in knee palm. So bring your left foot over your right. Your right heel is coming towards your left sit bone, and your left foot reaches towards your right hip, aiming to have a knee to knee alignment. If that's difficult for you, then straighten your right leg straight forward. You'll be reaching your right leg forward and working it in knee. In Half knee pile in this one. Your next pose today is shoulder shrug. Relax your arms down by your side, shoulders away from your ears. Activate your feet. Now take a deep breath into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze. Top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze the mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze the low tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze. Top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back. And exhale, squeeze the mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up. Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze the low tips of shoulders, draw down, and the inhale, release. Take the cross of your legs. Shoelace with your right leg over your left. Shoulder shrugs, arms relaxed by your side. Activate your feet. Take a deep breath into upper back. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders, draw down, inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze, mid tips of shoulders, draw down, inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, Hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent, and exhale, squeeze the low tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze, top tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, and exhale, squeeze the mid tips of shoulders, draw down. Inhale, spread. Hold the breath, shoulders up, hold the breath, shoulders back, elbows bent. And exhale, squeeze the low tips of shoulders, draw down. And release. Unwind the cross of your legs. Your next pose is half lotus with your. Uh, left leg over your right. So it's half lotus, or you, you can do in cross leg. 
you bring in your right foot across and your left foot comes up, the left foot is placed onto your right thigh by the hip. Your left hand is coming around, it's either flat on the floor behind you, or you're bringing the hand all the way around, sucking it onto the uh, left foot or into clothing or having the pants to floor. As you breathe in, bring your right arm across your left thigh. And as you breathe out, spiraling around towards the left. Press your sit bones to floor and then breathe in, breathe in lengthening, lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, you're spiraling around towards the left. Feet are acting. Now breathe in and lift your belly away from pelvis. Lift your diaphragm and lift your chest. And as you breathe out, spiraling around towards the left. Breathe into your spot, deep breath, feel, but energizing this area with your breath. And as you breathe out, you spiraling around. Inhale, the knees, unwind the cross of your legs and change the cross of the knee. Half lotus with your right foot on top of your left thigh by your hip crease. Right hand comes back behind, it's either flat on the floor by sacrum, or bring the hand all the way around, tucking it into waistband. Some of you will be able to take hold of your uh, right foot with right hand. Inhale, stretching your left arm up. And as you breathe out, bring your left arm across the gate, your right thigh. As you breathe in, expand your ribs. And as you breathe out, as your belly pulls in, spiraling towards the right. Deep breath, you're lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. Keeping the spine long, exhale as you're spiraling to the right. As you breathe, lift your belly away from pelvis. Lift your diaphragm and lift your chest. And as you breathe out, spiraling towards the right. And inhale, release. Unwind the cross of your leg. Your next pose is seated side bend with one leg straight. So straighten your uh, left leg. Left leg is reaching straight forward and your right foot is coming back. So the heel is by the, by the glute or placing the foot on the inside of your left leg. You, you can bring your, if you've taken your foot back, then reach your right hand back and take hold of the ankle or the foot, or the hand is flat onto the floor. Inhale, stretch your left arm up and feel the opening through the left side of your body. And as you breathe that left arm is down on inside of left. Relax your left ear with left shoulder. If you're not holding your right foot with your right hand, lift your right hand up and reach it back about 12 inches from the floor. And then breathe into the lower back and lengthening your lower ribs away from your sacrum. And as you breathe out, gliding your right shoulder away from right ear. As you breathe in, lift your belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, relax your left ear to left shoulder. On the next breath, as you breathe in, bring your right arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your left eye hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder back away from right ear. On the next breath, as you breathe, lift your chest. Keep lifting your chest up towards your chin. And as you breathe out, both shoulders down. From your pelvic bone, breathe and lift your belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, press your sit bones down and slightly feel as if you tuck in tailbone. Chest opener on the next breath as you breathe, reach, release your right arm, reach your right arm straight up. 
And as you breathe out, as you arc your chest forward, reaching your right arm straight back. Breathe into the back of your heart. Deep breath and energize your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, you're lengthening that right arm straight back. On the next breath, as you breathe, stretching the right arm up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, wrapping your right shoulder as you reach right arm over right here. Deep breath. Feel the lifting out of your left side. As you reach your right arm forward, feel as if you're sending your right sit bone back. As you breathe in, expand your ribs wide towards your armpits. And as you breathe out, folding forward, hands down either side of your left foot. Activate your feet, spreading the toes. Now breathe into the lower back and lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, letting your body melt full. Breathe into the back of your heart, deep breath. And as you breathe out, allowing your body to ease into the on the next breath, as you breathe in, lengthen your belly away from the top of your left thigh. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in as you fold forward. Inhale, release, pushing the floor away. Breathe in as you come all, all the way up. And then change. Your left foot, your right foot is straight forward. Your left Left foot is either tucked in so the heel is by the groin, or you're bringing your left foot back so that the heel is by your groin. Your left hand will be taking hold of your uh, ankle if your foot has come back, or the hand is onto the floor, about uh, 12 inches away from here. Pressing down into your right sit bone as you breathe in, stretching your right arm is up. And as you breathe out, right arm is down on the inside of right leg. Relax right here with right shoulder. You're not holding your left ankle with left hand. Lift your left arm up and then stretch it back. 12 inches from floor. Breathe in and lift out of your right side. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder away from left ear. So activate your feet and spread the toes. As you breathe, you're lifting your belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder away from your ear. Deep breath, lift, lengthen out of your right side. And as you breathe out, slightly curve your bones and navel as you stretch your right leg forward. On the next breath, release your left arm, reaching your left arm all the way around the back and tucking it onto your right thigh or into clothing. And as you breathe out, relaxing your right ear towards the right shoulder. As you breathe in, lift your chest and move your chest forward. Keep feeling the sensation of moving your chest forward towards your chin. And as you breathe out, send your left sit bone back. Chest open. On the next breath, release your left arm, reach your left arm straight up. And as you breathe out, as you arc your chest forward, reach your left arm straight back, spread the fingers. Breathe into the back of your heart, deep breath, feel for energizing your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, lengthening that left arm back. On the next breath, as you breathe, stretching your left arm right up. And as you breathe out, you're reaching your left arm forward over your left ear. Deep breath, stretch your ribs. Pull belly in, exhale as you fold. Deep breath, breathing into lower back and lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward, hands down either side of your right foot. 
feet are still active. Now breathe in and lift up. Feel as if you're lifting away from your right thigh. Keep moving the belly away from your right thigh as you exhale your folding forward. Breathe in and expand your ribs wide, wide as you can. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. Breathing into your lower back and lengthening your lower ribs away from your sacrum. And as you breathe out, you're gently easing forward. Inhale, release. Pushing the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way back up. Unwind, unwind your legs. Lie down on your back, your abdominal posts today. You start with elbow to knee and I'll do uh, rogla, which is uh, you're tucking your foot against your thigh and stretching the legs up towards the ceiling. So we'll work with those today. Lie down on your back. Dash your hands behind your head and neck. Lift your feet up off the floor and bend the knees. If your back is tweaky, you can do this with your feet. Those of your feet to the floor. Pat your back if you need. You lie down on your back, clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Feet are up off the floor. As you breathe in, lift your head and shoulder blades up away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach your elbows to the left knee. Now reach your right leg out about 45 degrees angle. Relax your right hip and then send your right leg forward. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to right knee, straighten left leg. Bent knee stays over the hips, don't move it toward the chest. Relax your left hip and then reach your left thigh forward away from waist. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows into your left knee. Now reaching your right leg forward. Feel your inner legs are working as you stretch your right leg forward. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to right knee. Now reaching your left leg forward, spread the toes, reach out with the balls of your foot. Relax your left hip. Send your left thigh forward as you lift your chest, you reach your elbows up and pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath and press lower back down to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to left knee. You'll reach your right leg forward, spread the toes and then send your right thigh away from you. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to right knee, straight to left leg. Now relax your left hip, and then ease your left thigh forward, away from the waist, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, and pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, up leveling, roll block. As you exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to left knee. Reach your right leg straight out and up towards the sky. Place your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. You can place it on top if you're struggling to hold it. And then lift up, send your right leg up. Reach your right thigh, left thigh away from you. As your belly pulls in, press your lower back to the floor. Keep the chest lifted, keep reaching your elbows up. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows to right knee, straight to left leg. Place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Press the foot against your thigh. And as you exhale, as you extend your legs up, reach your elbows up. Feel the moving right thigh away from you. Pull belly in. Lift the chest, reach your elbows up, 
cold belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to floor. As you exhale, curl the elbow up, your elbows are to left knee, reaching your right leg straight out and up towards the sky. Place your left foot on the inside of the right thigh. Press your foot against your thigh and then send. You're reaching your right leg up, up. Lift the chest. Reach your elbows up as you move your left thigh away from pelvis. Pull belly in. Pull belly in and press your lower back down to floor. Feet still active. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl the elbow up, elbows to right knee, straight to left leg. Place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Foot pressures against the thigh. You can hold it there. Now curl the elbow up, send your left leg up, move your right thigh away from pelvis. Pull belly in. Your belly's pulling in, you're pressing your lower back down. Lift your chest, reach your elbows up as you send your left leg up. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to floor. And exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to floor, and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Give, your give yourself a moment. Just to release from that last pose. So notice what you feel and breathe into whatever you're feeling in this moment. Noticing the physical sensations and noticing also the emotional sensations of what you feel. Your next pose today is frog, frog lifting through. Frog lifting through, your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. You're lifting your feet up off the floor and then reaching your knees out towards the side. Heels are aligned with your knees on the toes of flexed the shins. Tops of the thighs are aligned with your hip crease. You can move to the wall and have the soles of your feet up against the wall. Press your hands behind your head and neck. Move to the wall if you need. Press your lower back to floor and then breathe in. Lift your head and shoulders up away from floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up and then stand. Reach your legs out towards the side. Keep moving thighs away from you. Pull belly in. Reach your heels away from you as you reach your sit bones and back. Belly is in. Inhale, lower pelvis, but keep head and shoulder base up. Lift the chest, you're reaching your elbows up. As you exhale, curl the elbows up. Now send your legs out towards the side. Feel for unlocking the hips as you reach your thighs to the side. Pull belly in. Curl the toes towards the shins. Pull belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis. This time, lift your head, lift your chest, and reach your elbows straight up. And as you exhale, curl the elbows up and then reach your thighs out towards the side. Reach your elbows up. Feel the broadening across your back right down to, into armpits. Keep sending your legs to the side. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis and lower your head about an inch. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, as you curl the elbows up, lengthen your legs to the side. Flex your toes to the shins and reach heels away from you. Lift the chest, reach your elbows up, pull lower belly in. Inhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Release your hands and bring your hands at the side of your thighs and knees and draw your legs together. Place the soles of your feet onto the floor. You will need your roll for your next pose, which is twisting, twisting abs with the roll. So grab hold of your roll or your block, and you place it your roll or your block between your thighs. You're lying down on your back. 
if your back is straight, you can move close enough to the wall so the feet are up against the wall. Heels towards the wall if your back is straight. So lie down on your back, the roll is placed between your thighs and your legs are reaching straight up towards the ceiling. Hands are clasped behind your head and your neck. And your shoulders are onto the floor. Now press your lower back to the floor, spreading the ribs to the floor. Inhale, lift your head and shoulder blades up away from the floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, reaching the legs straight up. And as you exhale, curl the elbows up, send your elbows to left knee. Squeeze the roll again. Now squeeze your sit bone towards tailbone, stretching your legs to the sky. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, bring your head back to center. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and lengthen your legs up. As you exhale, Elbows to right knee. Squeeze the roll again. Now set stretch. Keep sending your legs up towards the sky. Feel as if you're sending sit bones away from you. Pull belly in. Inhale. Bring your head back to center. Hold the breath. Keep head and shoulder blades up, but press your lower back down. You exhale. Curl the elbows up. Reach your legs straight up. Reaching both elbows to left knee and squeeze the roll, squeeze your sit bone to tailbone, stretching your legs up towards the sky, pull belly in. Inhale, bring your head back to center, hold the breath and press your lower back down. As you exhale, curl the elbows up, reach your legs straight up, both elbows to right knee. Squeeze the roll again, Stretch your legs up towards the sky. Squeeze your sit bones to the elbows and pull belly in. Lift your chest, reach your elbows up, belly pulls in. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Grab hold of your block for your next pose. Your next post today is a bridge, bridge using a block. You're doing a supported bridge, so you're using the block to help to support you uh, in this pose. Lie down on your on your back, have your block in touching distance. And then reach down with your heels. Reach down with your fingertips to touch your heels. You're moving your heels back so your heels are now aligned with your sit bones or they are hip distance apart. Arms relaxed by your side and the shoulders are down away from your knees. As you press your feet to the floor, you breathe in and you move your belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up away from the floor. As you breathe in, expanding your ribs out as wide as you can. And as you exhale, lift up, push the floor away as you lift. Lower your pelvis slightly and then breathe in, lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, tilt pelvis, lift up. Now feel for pushing the floor away with your feet. Taking hold of your block. As you breathe in, lengthen your side ribs away from pelvis. As you breathe out, as you tilt pelvis, lift up and place the block under your sacrum. Align your left foot with your left sit bone. And anchor into left leg, breathe in, lift your right leg up and draw your right knee towards your chest. And as you breathe out, reach in your right leg out and up towards the sky. Spread the toes. Breathe into your right hip. Deep breath. Feel for easing right thigh bone away from pelvis. 
And as you breathe out, sending that right leg up. On the next breath, as you breathe in, telescope in the ribs as you move your chest to chin. And as you breathe out, sending that right leg straight up. Half, half Barasana. So on the next breath, bend your right knee and draw the knee towards the chest. Reach your right hand up, take hold of your right ankle. And then draw your right heel towards your right knee. Your right knee is reaching towards the floor. From here, if you can, lift your left foot up, draw your left knee towards the chest. And as you breathe out, send in your left leg straight out and up towards the sky. Then breathe into your left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're sending your left leg up whilst reaching your right thigh and knee towards the floor. Deep breath, breathe into that left hip. And as you breathe out, that left leg reaches right out and up towards the sky. On the next breath, bend your left knee, take hold of your left foot with your left hand. Release your right foot to the floor, right foot is back to the floor. And then tuck your left foot back so you're bringing your left heel towards your left sit bone and your left knee is reaching to the floor. From there, if you can, as you press down into your left foot, breathing, lift your right leg up and draw the right knee to chest. And as you breathe out, reaching your right leg up while sending your left thigh and knee to floor. And then deep breath, lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're unlocking that right hip as you reach your right leg up. Deep breath, feel as if you're moving right thigh away from pelvis. And as you exhale, send your right leg up while sending your left thigh and your left knee towards the floor. On the next breath, release your left foot. Left foot is flat to the floor. Bend your right knee, knee to chest. And as you breathe out, place your right foot down onto the floor. Both feet to the floor. Press feet to floor and breathe in, telescoping the ribs as you move chest to chin. And as you breathe out, press your feet to floor, tilt pelvis, lift up, move the block. And then deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, tilt in pelvis as you lower your upper back to floor. Tilt in pelvis as you lower mid back to floor. So probably says you all come all the way down to floor. And then release. Roll to your right side. Keep your neck relaxed. Use your hand, left hand to push the floor away as you come all the way, uh, you come all the way up. And stand with your feet about three feet away from you for your next pose. Stay which is unlocking the shoulders. Your knees are bent, your knees are reaching out towards the side. Toes are reaching out towards the side. Unlocking the shoulders in course down. From here, lift your left arm up and then reach it forward. Place your right thumb into your left armpit. Take a deep breath into the upper back. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, as you glide your left shoulder down, reach your left elbow forward. Feel as if you're contracting, as if you're squeezing your left thumb. Place your right hand onto left bicep. Only do this if you've not dislocated shoulder. Take a deep breath into the upper back, back, spreading your upper back. Hold the breath. Now lift your bicep up. And as you exhale, you're gliding your bicep all the way forward until you reach your elbow. Once there, breathe into upper back, spreading the ribs, spread the upper back. And as you breathe out, press your arm against elbow, elbow presses against the arm. You're reaching your uh, left elbow forward. Keep pressing arms against elbow, soften, 
your left shoulder down. And then release. Lift your right arm up and then reach your elbow forward. Elbows aligned with the shoulder. Right, left thumb is placed into your armpit, fingers are onto your scapula. Take a deep breath into upper back, broadening, spreading the upper back. And as you breathe out, as you glide your right shoulder down, reaching your right elbow forward, keep feeling that you're contracted, your pectoral muscles are engaged as you squeeze your right left thumb. Place your left hand onto right bicep. Only do this if you've not dislocated shoulders. Breathe into upper back, spreading the upper back. Hold the breath. Now raise your right bicep up, and as you exhale, you're gliding the bicep forward. The right shoulder is down, and keep reaching your right elbow forward. Once you're there, place your left hand onto the, uh, on the angle, the elbow of the hand, and breathe in. And as you breathe out, as you glide your right shoulder down, press your left hand onto the elbow. Elbow presses onto the hand. Feet are active. Fingers are reaching up, spreading the fingers. The web of the hands are spreading. And then release. From here, reach your arms up. Elbows are slightly higher than the shoulders. Go deeper, sit deeper, spread the toes. Now take a deep breath into upper back. Hold the breath. And as you exhale, as you glide the shoulders down, reach your elbows forward. Squeeze your elbows in towards each other. Keep spreading the fingers, fingertips are reaching to the sky. Keep the chest lifted. And then breathe into the upper back, deep breath. And exhale, elbows reach forward, shoulders are down. Squeeze your elbows in towards each other. Keep sliding the shoulders down. Keep reaching the elbows forward. And then relax and breathe. Breathe into upper back. Exhale. Go deep into the pose. Lift your elbows up. Reach your elbows forward. Squeeze your elbows in. Keep lifting your chest up. And inhale, release. Stand. Keep your toe feet together. And then come on back down onto knees for your next pose. The next pose today is uh, bird, bird wing. So in your bird wing, you're sitting down onto your heels. Your elbows are tucking into the side ring. Now take a deep breath as you breathe in. Draw your hands together. Exhale, lift the chest and then open the arms out towards the side. Squeeze, squeeze shoulder blades, soften the shoulders. And then breathe in, bring your hands together. Exhale as your chest lifts, open up. Keep squeezing your elbows in, squeeze shoulder blades. Let your shoulders soften away from you. Two more, breathe in, hands are drawn together. Exhale, chest lifts and then open up. One more, breathe in. And as you breathe out, as your chest lifts, you're opening up. Squeeze your elbows in and keep reaching your arms back and away from you. The elbows are tucking in. And then inhale, release. Your next pose today is dolphin. Dolphin, uh, either hands clasp or hands, palms of the hands flat to the floor. Working with five breaths in dolphin. And then from there, moving to dolphin, one leg up, three to four breaths on one side, three to four breaths on the other side. And from dolphin, leg up, you're coming down. When your leg comes down, you come into Achilles tendon stretch. So I'll talk you through, through that. Your hands are onto your biceps to measure. Your elbows are down in front of you. Reaching your hands forward, spread the fingers. Your knees are under your hips. If you want to clasp your hands, then you're doing so at this time. So relax your neck and relax your shoulders, relax your upper back. Breathe into upper back, lift, spread your upper back and curl your toes under. 
Exhale, lift your knees off the floor and then reaching back. Chest is moving back to thighs and knees. Bend the fingers and as you press down into the heel of your hands, breathe in, pushing the floor away with your hands and forearms, lengthening your top ribs away from your shoulders. And as you breathe out, as your belly pulls in, reaching your sit bones back. Breathing into the back of your heart and feel, but energizing your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, press down the inside of your forearms or press into the floor, reach back, reach your heels to the floor. On the next breath, as you breathe in, lengthen your side ribs away from your shoulders. And as you breathe out, reaching your sit bones back. You're working with one leg up, anchor into your right leg, breathe in, lift your left leg up, and as you breathe out, reach it back. Breathe into your right hip, feel the easy right thigh away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, send in that left leg back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, you're sending your left leg back away from you. And as you breathe out, lower your left foot, hook your left big toe over the Achilles tendons of the right, and then reach your both heels to the floor. Breathe into the hips, deep breath. And as you breathe out, reach both heels to the floor, feel as if you're moving your right thigh away from pelvis. Inhale, release, facing your left foot to floor. Anchor left foot to floor, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you breathe out, reach it back, spread the toes. Breathe into your right hip, feel the easing, right thigh away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, send in that right leg back. On the next breath, as you reach your right leg away from you, and as you breathe out, lower your right foot so you're hooking the feet to over the right of the left heel for Achilles tendon. As you breathe, feel as if you're standing your pelvis, your thighs away from pelvis. And exhale, reach your heels to the floor. One more breath here, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your right foot to the floor. Bend the knees and come all the way down. And then come to stand. So from here, if you move to the wall, your next pose is dolphin against the wall. So that's where you're going now. I have a dolphin, no, actually do downward facing dog against the wall or dolphin as your option pose. Down facing dog against the wall. You start where your heels finish if you're sitting against the wall, where your heels finish is where you will start in your downward facing dog. So hands are to the floor, you're stepping your feet back to the floor. Neck and shoulders relax from here. You breathe in and step one foot onto the wall. If you can, step both feet onto the wall. You're staying here. If you can go further, reaching one leg up, stretching that leg straight up to the sky. Now breathe in deeply. And as you breathe out, pull your belly in. Feel the back of your thighs reaching to the sky. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, since your belly pulls in, move your chest to the wall. Working with one leg up, that leg, left leg is reaching straight up. And breathe into your left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, send that leg straight up. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you breathe out, place that foot onto the wall. Other foot is reaching up towards the sky. Breathe into your right hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, as you send your right leg up, pull your belly in. Deep inhale. And as you breathe out, keep sending your right leg straight up, moving chest to the wall. 
One more breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, release. Come on down. And so you're moving to the wall for the next uh, couple of poses, working with uh, working with lunges against the wall. Actually, we'll, we'll do that after we'll just warm your legs up a little bit more. So we'll come to the front of your mat and do salutations. Just warm up your hips, pelvis a little bit more. Then we'll come to the wall for lunges. So stand at the front of your mat, activating feet, spreading the toes and balls of your feet. Your back is straight, you bring your feet a little bit wider on the mat. Exhale, hands together at your chest. Press your feet to floor, and as you breathe in, reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Lunge, breathe in, step your left leg back, bend your left knee, place your left knee to the floor. Push your right foot to the floor as you reach your arms out and up towards the sky. And as you exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. From here, bend the knees. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Hands forward for low cobra. As you breathe in, move chest and ribs forward whilst lengthening your legs back. And as you breathe out, release, lower down, hands on the shoulders, breathe in, curl toes under. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Lengthen through the spine in your downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, facing your right knee to the floor. You're pushing the floor away as you reach your arms towards the sky. And as you breathe that, hands down and step your right leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthening through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And as you breathe that, hands together at you. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Lunge, right leg steps back, bend the right knee, and you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Going as deep as you can, opening into hips. Exhale, hands down and step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping your elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward, lengthen your legs back. And as you breathe out, lower down and press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right leg forward between the hands, left knees to the floor, and your arms are reaching towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands down and step your left foot forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthening through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And as you breathe out, hands together and touch. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, you're reaching your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, lengthen through the spine as you move your chest away from thighs and knees. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keeping the elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, release, lower down, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, inhale, step your left foot by your left hand, Ease your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. And as you exhale, hands down and step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest down, reach forward, left the legs back. Exhale, release, lower down, press it back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, right leg steps by the right hand, left foot eases towards the left edge of the mat. You're reaching your arms to the sky. And as you breathe out, hands down, step your right leg back for plan. Deep breath. And as you exhale, lower down, keeping elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and reach forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, release, slow down and press it back, downward dog. On the next breath, bend the knees and as you inhale, hop your legs between the hands or step it through. And as you breathe out, forward bend, lengthen through the spine. Chair pose, knees are bent and your arms are reaching up. Inhale. And as you exhale, stand, hands together at chest. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lungs, breathe in, step your left leg back, bend your left knee, and you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. 
Exhale, hands down and step your left leg, right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keep the elbows in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest down, reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, release, press it back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, right knees to the floor, and your arms are reaching up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands down, step your right leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthening through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together at you. Inhale, arms up, telescoping reach. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back, bending your right knee, and you're reaching your arms towards the sky. And exhale, hands down, step in your left leg back for plank. Reach it back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Move chest down, reach forward, length the legs back. Exhale, release, throw it down, press it back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step in, the right foot forward between the hands, left knees to the floor, and your arms are reaching to sky. And as you breathe out, hands down, step your left foot forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthening through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And as you breathe out, hands together at your chest. And just give yourself a moment from this. Your next pose is handstand or forearm balance against a wall. So if you're doing your forearm balance, forearm balance or dolphin against the wall. So if you're doing a dolphin, you're starting with your feet against the wall and you're coming up, measuring up, hands clasped, and you come up. You have one foot onto the wall or both feet onto the wall, pushing the floor away, aiming to stay here for about eight breaths, or working with one leg up, three to four breaths, other leg up, three to four breaths. Or you can do downward facing dog against the wall, or coming into handstand against the wall. Staying into handstand for as long as you can. If you can get to 10 breaths, that's great. Keep feeling that you're using your ab, keep tucking your sit bones towards your heels. So using your sit bones. Good. Good. Excellent, everyone. And then from here, watch you come all the way down. Your next pose here against the wall, you will be doing chest open against the wall. So starting with your left leg up against the wall, your one foot arm distance away from the wall. Your left foot is step forward, your left arm is reaching back. You can have your right hand onto the shoulder, just, just below the shoulder. Or if your, your preference is to have the hand against the wall, you breathe in, you lift out of your left side. And as you breathe out, you slightly bend that front knee and feel as if you're turning slightly to the inside of the room. You're reaching your right arm back. Deep breath, inhale. As you breathe out, you glide the shoulders down and reaching your right arm back away from you. Or you can have the hands pressing up against the wall. And then breathe and lift up. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're twisting away from the wall, slightly inside of the room. Take two more breaths there. Keep lifting and lengthening out of your left side. 
Bend your left knee on exhale as you reach that left arm back. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, soften your left shoulder away from your ear. And inhale, release. And then ease on up. Step in your right leg forward. And then changing so that your right hand is up against the wall. Your right leg is stepped forward. And your right left hand is either onto the shoulder or is against the wall. Bend your right knee, breathe in, lift out of your right side. And as you, eat your, eat, as you reach your right arm back, slightly feel as if you're turning inwards. Let your right shoulder be soft away from your ear. Deep inhale, keep lifting out of your right side. Feels as if the shoulder rises up slightly. And then glide the shoulders down, turn slightly inwards as you reach that right arm back. Deep breath, inhale. And as you, as you breathe out, slightly turn to the center of the room. Turn, turn inwards, Paula, to me. Turn in, in. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah. Deep breath. And now reach that right arm back as you start, turn slightly more inwards, more inwards. Do the same, Camilla. Turn to, into, into the center of the room more. Last breath, deep breath. And then everyone release. Your next pose is using the wall still, is twisting squat against the wall, starting with your left side against the wall. So you're one forearm distance away from the wall. Your knees are bent, and when you breathe in, you're bringing your right arm over your left thigh. The hand is pressing against the wall, and then both hands against the wall. You feel as if you're pressing down into heels, and as you breathe in, you're lengthening your ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, twist to the wall and feel as if you're pushing the wall away from you. Now feel this right front pelvic bone. Breathe in and lifting, moving belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, twist to the wall. So you're opening your chest. Opening your heart towards the wall. Deep breath. Breathe into lower back and lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, open towards the wall a little bit more. Tucking that right elbow is against the wall in this. Everyone sit a little deeper. Feel as if your sit bones are reaching back, as if your sit bones are reaching to heels. And then breathe in, lengthen, lengthen out of your lower back. Feel as if you're pushing the wall away as you twist away from the wall. Last breath here, deep breath, lengthen, moving belly away from pelvis. And exhale, release. Stand and then turn around for the other side. You're one forearm distance away from the wall. From here, bending, bending the knee. And your right arm, if you're, so your left arm is coming over your uh, right thigh. And both hands against the wall. Feel as if you're sitting back, sit as if you're sitting to your heels. And then breathe into lower back, lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe that, twist away from the wall. Maria, move your hands further apart. Further apart. And then breathe in deeply. Bring your left arm further down, closer towards your knee. Left hand down, Maria. Left hand down. And as you breathe out, twist away from the wall. Open your chest towards the wall. Breathe into lower back, everyone. Lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, twist. Twist away as if you're twisting up, as if you're rolling your chest towards the ceiling. One more breath. Deep breath. And exhale, release, and stand, stand away from the wall. So your next pose is working with using the wall again. This time you're using lunges against the wall. 
So you want to pad, you want to pad your knee. So the uh, knee against the wall, starting with your right knee against the wall. So I'm using a cushion or you can use a blanket or whatever you've chosen uh, to use. So my right knee is coming down against the wall. My knee is to be, is on my block or on my cushion against the floor and my right foot is right up against the wall. From here, my left foot is flat onto the floor and I'm lifting up and reaching back. You can stay with the hands to the floor. You can stay with the hands to the floor or the hands onto your thigh, onto your left thigh, traction your left thigh forward. If you have further to go, you're lifting up and reaching your arms out up towards the wall. Pressing down onto your uh, right le left leg and as you breathe in, lift and lengthen away from the top of your right thigh. And as you breathe out, bring your sit bone back towards the wall, left sit bones to the wall, both sit bones to the wall. And breathing in, lengthen out of your lower back. And as you can, bend your front knee only very slightly. Press your left foot to floor and breathe in, lifting belly up away from pelvis, lift your chest. And as you breathe out, pressing that right foot back against the wall. One more breath, keep lifting, lengthening out of your lower back. And exhale, release. Coming in, that was stage one. Stage two is ease your left foot forward about two inches. And then press your left foot to the floor. You can keep your hands to the floor, onto your thigh, or if you can go further, you're reaching your arms out and up. If you're able to go further, reaching your arms back to the wall. As you press down into your right leg, lengthen your feel this opening into the psoas, into your quadriceps on your right side. And as you breathe out, push the floor away with your left foot. Deep breath, stretching your ribs up away from waist. And as you breathe out, bend that front knee. One more breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, release. From here, you're easing your left foot forward about another six inches. The right foot stays onto the wall. You can have the hands to the floor, hands to the thighs, or pushing the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And then deep breath, keep feeling as if you're lengthening away from the top of your right thigh. And as you breathe out, press your right foot to the floor, keeping chest lifted. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, bending that front knee a little deeper. Deep inhale, stretch, keep stretching up. And exhale, release. From here, turn to the side and then ease on out of the pose. And then do this the other side. So all of this is done, is, you're doing it on the other side now. So your left knee is down onto the floor, onto your mat. Hopefully you've supported and protected your knee. Your left foot will be up against the wall. You will again protect your feet and protect your wall. Your right foot is flat onto the floor. Your right foot is forward. It's at a right angle. You're bringing your sit bone as close towards the wall as you can. And from here, if you can, hands onto your thighs, the floor, or you're reaching your arms out and up. Press it down into that left foot as you breathe in. Lift out of your uh, left side. And as you breathe out, keep tucking keep tough tailbones if you curl in pubic bone to navel. Press your right foot to floor and then breathe in, lengthen lower ribs up away from sacrum. 
And as you breathe that, feel as if your sit bones are reaching back. Try to have both sit bones through the wall if you can. And breathe in, lifting belly, lifting diaphragm, lift chest. And exhale, release. From here, ease your right foot forward about two, maybe three inches. And then you're coming up slightly away from the wall as you bend your left knee. And then your hands are tractioning your right thigh forward. If you can't go further, press your right foot to the floor as you stretch your arms up. And if you can go further, let your arms reach back towards the wall. Right foot presses down, breathe in and stretch, lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, go in a little deeper. Deep breath, inhale. Chest is lifted. Press your left foot to the floor on exhale. Uh, inhale, release. From here, bring your right foot forward about six or so inches. Keep moving your right thigh forward as much as you can. Keep pressing your left foot to the floor. Uh, left foot is pressed against the wall, sorry. And then from there, your hands are either onto the floor or a block, or you're moving your hands onto your right thigh. Traction in your right thigh forward. You can go further. You're reaching your arms out and up towards the floor. And then breathe in deeply. And as you breathe out, keep pressing that left foot to the wall as you stretch up. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, keep lifting up. Feel as if you're lifting away from your right thigh. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale, release. Release away from this. You turn to the side and then ease on out of the pose in as graceful a way as you can. Now that your hips are nicely open, stand at the front of your mat. Coming into a few standing poses now that your hips are nicely uh, open up. From here, inhale, step your right leg back for warrior two. Lengthen your arms out towards the side. Bending that front knee. Eagle warrior two. Inhale, bring your left arm over your right and bind the hand. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders be soft down away from your ears. The back foot is lined up with the short edge of the mat. The front heels are lined with the arc of the back foot. Breathe into upper back, deep breath. And as you breathe out, reach your elbows forward. Forearms are reaching forward. Deep breath, inhale, spreading the ribs as you spread your upper back. As you anchor your feet to the floor, lengthen, reach your forearms forward away from you. Inhale, release, float your arms out to side. Reverse warrior as you breathe in, stretching your right arm up. And as you breathe out, reverse the right hand is now below or above the knee. Your left arm is reaching over left knee. Press into your right leg, breathe in. Keep stretching, lengthening out of your right side. As you press your left foot to the floor, reaching your left arm over left ear. Your back is free, you bring your left hand higher up. Now feel this right from pelvic bowl and breathe in, lift belly. Lift diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, wrapping that right left shoulder as you reach your left arm over left ear. Use your left arm to ease your body up. Right hand supports your from here, coming into triangle. You straighten in your left leg. Your left hand is down to the floor, the ankle, the shin, or calf. Bring your right arm all the way. You can reach your right arm up for chest opener, or bring it all the way around and coming into the bind. Triangle with your chest opening back. You press down into your left leg, breathe, and lifting, lengthening the ribs away from that left hip. 
And as you press back into your right leg, rolling the chest open, sliding your right shoulder away from your ear. Deep breath, keep moving belly forward away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, both shoulders down. One more breath, deep breath. You're lengthening your lower ribs away from waist. Exhale, release. So from here, you're releasing your right arm. You're bending your left knee. So you're moving into a half moon. Your left hand is onto the floor. You're reaching it about 12 inches forward, six inches towards the sky. As you breathe in, you're gliding your body forward. You're lifting your right leg up and then reaching it straight back, reach out with the heel. Your hand go further, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. Pressing into your left leg, breathe and lift your ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, stretch back into your right heel as you reach your right arm to the sky. For those who want to go further, you're, you can come into quarter moon, bend your right knee, take hold of the ankle with your right hand, and then reach your right thigh away from you. And then breathe in deeply. Keep lifting away from your left thigh. And as you breathe out, you're reaching your right thigh back and away. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, send that leg back. From here, bring both hands down onto the floor and step your right leg back. Your next pose from here is twisting triangle. So your right hand comes down on the outside of your left foot. Your left hand is placed onto sacrum. Press into your right leg and breathe in, lengthen the ribs away from your right hip. And as you breathe out, rolling chest open towards the left. You can go further, reaching your left arm out and up towards the sky. Now breathe into the lower back and lengthen your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you reach back into your right leg, twist to the left, lengthen left arm to sky. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale as you open up towards the left. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot. Pigeon, placing your right knees to the floor and gliding your left foot towards the left, towards the right edge of the mat. You're sending your right leg straight back. Your hands are under the shoulders. You bear down into pelvis, breathe in and lifting belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward over your left shin. Feet still active. Breathe into lower back, deep breath. And as you breathe out, let your body just melt full. Activate your feet, spreading the toes. On the next breath, as you breathe, keep lifting belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, reach your right leg back as you glide your left thigh forward. Now inhale, release. From here, ease on up and do twisting pigeon towards your uh, left foot. So sternum to foot. Bring your left foot up slightly at a right angle, sitting down onto your left sit bone. And grab hold of the foot with both hands. As you press into your left sit bones, lift your side ribs up. And as you breathe out, drawing your sternum towards your left ankle. As you breathe, keep moving belly up away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, you're folding closer towards that left foot. One more breath, breathe into lower back and lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, you're coming deeper to the floor. Inhale, release. Hands are under the shoulders and step your left leg back for plank. So step it uh, back for downward facing dog. And other side from here, as you breathe in, you're stepping 
your right foot forward between the hands for warrior two. The back foot is square to the short edge of the mat line at the front, heel with the arc of the back foot, bend the front knee. Reach your arms out to side. From here, eagle warrior, as you breathe in, bring your right arm over your left and bind the hands. And as you breathe out, shoulders are softening down away from your ears. Deep breath, inhale. Raise your elbows up. And as you breathe out, reach your elbows forward. Spread, feel the spread across your back. Bend the knees, go a little deeper into pose. Now, deep breath, feel this moving belly up away from pelvis as you move chest to chest. And as you breathe out, bring, reach your forearms forward. Inhale, release. Throw your arms out to side. Reverse warrior, as you breathe in, stretching your left arm up, open left side of the body. And breathe out, reverse. The left hand is now below or above the knee, and your right arm is reaching over your right hip. Press into your left leg, and as you breathe in, lift, lengthen out of your left side. Bend your right knee as you reach your right arm over your right hip. As you breathe in, lift your belly. Now lift your diaphragm and lift your chest. And as you breathe out, reaching that right arm over right here. Breathe into lower back, lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, lengthening that right arm over right here. Use your right arm, breathe in to pull your body up, coming straight into triangle. Your Right hand is reaching down towards the floor to the ankle, the calf, the shin. Your left arm is reaching straight up towards the sky or bring the arm all the way around the back and sucking it onto your right side. Your front heel is aligned with the arc of the back foot. Press in, into your right leg and lengthening your side ribs away from your right thigh. And as you breathe that, glide your left shoulder away from left hip. As you breathe, breathe into lower back and let the lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're sending your right sit bone back. As you breathe, anchor into your left leg, the edge of your left foot, and then lengthen belly, diaphragm, chest forward. And as you breathe out, gliding your left shoulder away from your knee. From here, Release your left hand. Left hand is onto left hip. Bend your right knee. Bring your right hand onto the floor, 12 inches forward, 6 inches towards the side. Your next pose is half moon. So from here, as you breathe in, ease your body forward. The weight is into your right leg. Lift your left leg up and reach it back. You're reaching out with the heel. Once you can go further, stretching your left arm to the sky. As you press your right foot to floor, breathe in and lift your side ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, reach back into your right heel. You can go further bending your left knee. Your left arm reaches back, it takes hold of the ankle of the foot. And as you breathe in, as you lift out of your right side. And as you breathe out, you're sending your left thigh and knee away from you. Deep breath, inhale, keep stretching, keep lengthening the ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, send in that left leg back, feet, feet are still active. Last breath in this one, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your hands to the floor and step your left leg back. Your feet, they're about three feet away from each other. Your next pose is Twi uh, twisting triangle. So your left hand is down on the outside of your right foot. Your right hand is onto sacrum. Press your left foot to floor and breathe in, lengthening the ribs away from the waist on your left side. And as you breathe out, rolling chest open to the right. If you're feeling this a little bit tweaky, then step your left foot slightly more towards the left as if you're in warrior one stance. Straighten your right leg. And breathe in, move your belly away from the top of your right thigh. 
And as you breathe out, as you roll open towards the right, reaching your right arm to the sky. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, your left arm is down, you're rolling open towards the right. You can't go further, you're reaching your arm up, but just don't force it. Press your left, right foot to floor and breathe in, glide your ribs forward away from that right hip. And as you reach back into your left leg, open up towards the right. Right arm is reaching up or it's reaching back. Shoulders down, last breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. Hands down either side of your front foot. Place your left knee to the floor as you set up for pigeon. Easing your right foot towards the left edge of the mat. Bringing your hands forward under the shoulders. You reach your left leg back and as you breathe in, bearing down into pelvis as you lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, folding forward, reaching back into your left big toe. Breathe into lower back, deep breath. You're lengthening your lower, lower ribs forward away from waist. And exhale as you fold. Feel as if you're reaching your sit bones back towards your left heel. Feeling the energy that's moving through you now. Deep breath. Keep feeling for that lengthening belly away from pelvis, lower ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you fold. One more breath here, deep breath. Exhale, release. Hands are onto the shoulders, pushing the floor away as you come up. When you're sitting down onto your right sit bone, is your right foot up so it's at a right angle. Your next pose is sternum to foot. Pressing down into your right sit bones, breathe in and lift out of your right side, hands are taking hold of the foot. And as you breathe out, you're moving your sternum, your chest is moving towards your right foot. As you breathe, keep lifting out of your right side. And as you breathe out, your belly pulls in as you move your chest closer towards that right foot. From your pelvic bowl, breathe in and lifting, moving belly forward. And as you breathe out, feel your chest as you get closer to that right foot. Inhale, release. Uh, ease, ease up, up, away from that foot. From here, you have your strap. Lie down on your back and with the strap. So you lie down on your back, you're reaching your legs straight up. The strap is placed around the ball of your foot. This is this poses forward bend on your back. You can, from this position, you're straightening your legs straight up. So your lower back presses the floor, you breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. And as you breathe out, pull belly in and then lengthen your legs straight up. Deep breath, feel the moving belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, lengthening your reach of your legs up, but your lower back is pressing down. On the next breath, spread the breath into the lower back. And as you breathe out, lengthening your legs straight up. Press your lower back to the floor, and then breathe in, sending your legs straight up. Whilst pressing your lower back to floor, bringing your feet towards the chest. If you're feeling this really tight into hamstrings, bend the knees slightly. And then breathe in deeply. Feel as if you're moving thighs away from pelvis. Lower back presses down as you draw your feet closer towards your chest. Keep, keep the lower back pressing to floor. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you breathe out, pull belly in and feel your feet as they come towards your shoulder, but keep pressing your lower back down. Then inhale, 
release. From here, bend the knees so the soles of your feet come together. Reach your hands up and take hold of the feet. Feet are over your chest. Now take a deep breath into lower back and spread your lower ribs to the floor. Pull the other exhale. Pull your belly in and bring your feet to chest. Press your lower back down to floor, softening the shoulders away from you. Keep feeling as if you're hollowing your belly out. Relax your belly and breathe. Breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Exhale. <sighs> Belly's in. You're moving your feet to chest. Your lower back is spreading to the floor. Shoulders are soft. Keep pulling your belly in. Last one here. Deep breath. And exhale. Belly pulls in, feet to chest, shoulders down, belly keeps pulling in, and you're pressing your lower back to the floor. And then release. Use your hands, draw your knees together. Keeping the knees together, reach your arms out to the side. From here, as you press your lower back to the floor, breathe in, let your knees come towards your chest. And as you breathe out, your knees are coming down towards your right armpit. Head is in the opposite direction to me. You can place your right hand onto the top of your thigh or by your hip. Lying down, spinal twist. From here, breathe in, and you're moving belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, softening your left shoulder away from your hip. Breathe into lower back, lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, feeling for that release a little bit more. Without forcing, fill your side ribs up with your breath. And as you breathe out, let your body relax into the breath. One more, fill up, really fill up with this breath. Making every cell, balloon the breath into every cell. And then exhale. Then inhale, release, release the arm to the floor. Inhale, draw, one at a time, draw your feet back to center. And as you exhale, allowing the knees to come down to the other side, the knees are coming towards your left armpit. Left arm is up, it's onto your right thigh or by your hip. Head is in the opposite direction to your knee. Now breathe in and move belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, relax your right shoulder away from right hip. Breathe into your lower back, deep breath, feel as if you're lengthening away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're sending your sit bones down away from you. Sit bones are reaching towards your, your heels. Now fill yourself up with this breath. So deep breath, balloon the breath into every cell. And then exhale. Exhale until you're empty. One more deep breath. Really take this breath as deep as you can. You're using the breath as you, you would use a key to open up all of those tight areas. And exhale. Releasing both arms to floor. Breathe in. Draw your knees back to center one at a time. 
And as you breathe out, place your feet onto the floor and lengthen your legs forward, away from you. Relax your arms down by your side and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Lying down in Shavasana. Relax your skull bones, relax the forehead, relax eyes and eye sockets, relax your jaw, let your shoulders be soft away from your ears. Relax your upper back. Relax your mid back and lower back. Relax pelvis. And relax your thighs, your hamstrings, your quadriceps. You've worked these a lot today, so just let them go, let them relax. Relax your calves. Relax your shins and ankles and relax your feet and relax toes. Relax your belly. Relax your arms, your shoulders, your triceps and biceps. Relaxing elbows, your forearms, and relax your wrists, your hands. Relax your fingers. Give yourself a moment or two just to let go. Noticing the energy that moves through your body as you let go of your own. Giving yourself time to notice how your body feels. Giving yourself time to foster and to create a different relationship with yourself. A loving relationship with yourself where you love all parts of you. And then allow yourself to feel connected, connected with the earth. And then taking yourself to a time, to a time in which you really felt yourself worthy, you felt loved, uh, an unconditional love, a time in which you gave love and felt love. Feel that, feel that energy and feel for moving that energy into your body. Allow yourself to feel that warm, that glowing energy and move that through the whole of your body. So that in this time, you're learning to train or to feed your body 
something that is so much more positive than some of the energy that is uh, around. It's not all negative. There's a lot of super positive energy. There's so much goodwill around. So within the realms of super, super challenges, so many people have stood up, so many people have really shown themselves to be loving, kind, with deep consideration for others. So bring that kind of energy into your body. Because that kind of energy helps your body to grow, to thrive as opposed to that negative energy, which is destructive and toxic. So on the days and the occasions in which you're feeling slightly low and slightly disconnected, taking yourself to a time in which you gave and received Love. It may not have happened at the same time, but you know what it is to have given and you know what it is to have received. So take yourself to such a moment. So on the next breath, begin to move your toes and to move your fingertips. And then stretch out, stretch in a way that feels good to you. And using the breath to move through your body, to energize your body. And feeling the strength that you've acquired as you move through your poses today. And roll to your left side towards your heart center. Right hand is down by your chest, breathe in. Breathe out, push the floor away as you come up and use your left hand to support your head and neck. So you come back into a seated position. Your hands together, the thumbs are lightly touching your sternum. Give yourself time to notice how you feel and congratulate yourself for your practice. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Namaste.